what about three hours ago, I would say first place I saw it was Say Cheese. So shout out Say Cheese. But about three hours ago, it was reported that um, former drug kingpin, allegedly, you know, leader of the Black Mafia family, $270 million drug empire, Big Meech, Demetrius Flannery, uh, was released from federal prison. Um, now, when you look at the, when I looked at the report, it looks like he was uh, released yesterday. Uh, and then he was moved to a halfway house down in Miami, Florida. Um, originally, he was sentenced to 30 years after being arrested in 2005. Um, and it was reported in early 2024, like earlier this year. Um, he had his sentence reduced by like almost 30 percent. So some people were saying that him being released this early is even earlier than some people expected. Um, I know uh, his brother, who he allegedly ran the organization with, he was released on Compassionate Care, something like that, in 2020. Um, he's been on home confinement. Um, I know his boy J Bo was released like in 2019, and subsequently he just pled guilty. We had talked about this. He pled guilty to some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? But man, now we getting the report that Big Meech is home. Man, what was your like, what was your initial reaction to that news? Well, first of all, what's up, everybody? I'm Drell. Everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody know you, Drell, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, I just had to throw that in there if you want to put that somewhere. But thank you for having me on the show. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, it was, it's was it been a pretty slow news day. So to hear that Big Meech is finally home was actually a surprise. And not only that, the news, like, switched up. So first, I think you did say it. Say she's reported on it first where they said that he was released released so that right. actually went on for like what two or three hours where every single outlet was reporting that big niche was home and sexy rad was tweeting that she wanted to perform for free because yeah, that his party that, right yeah everybody knows that big niche has the best parties the crazy thing is is that he could actually come home and replace the diddy party because i feel like his parties were safe they were clean you know he just really had a good time for the community. Hey, he that's community. that's that's crazy you say that. That that I can see that too, man. That's I mean, wild. no more ditty parties. What Bow Wow said that they, you know, everybody's bored now. Yeah. How long is he gonna be in the halfway house? When can we expect him to come home? Well, so like getting back to what you were saying, I'm gonna answer your question, but getting back to what you were saying, I think when people saw that he had been moved from the prison, they like went crazy. Cause like when you search his prison records, it says like he's no longer there. So then yeah. they was going crazy, like, oh, he's free, free. Now it's normal when you in the feds to go to the halfway house and spend maybe your last four to six months in the halfway house. Um, hopefully you don't do nothing bad. Cause if you do something bad, they literally send you right back. But normally, like he'll get to make phone calls, he'll get to maybe get out sometimes and go do stuff, maybe like get an ID, like important things that you need. That's what it's for. You know what I'm saying? Get your ID, get start getting mail. Maybe he got to get a job. I don't know. But you got to start doing all that stuff in the halfway house for a couple months. Then they'll be released. So I, I know his original release date after they took off the 30 percent was like January 2026. And so he's probably going to be in the halfway house anytime from now to then. Um. So but probably like in 2025, he'll probably be out. You know what I'm saying? But. That's normal, the halfway house shit. So technically he is out though. Cause like when your homie get to the halfway house, he call you like, yo, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Like, so <laughs> I'm sure Meech gonna good. feel good. But hold on real quick though. Cause it's a lot of people showing love to Meech and shouting Meech out. We gotta be honest. <coughs> In early 2024, you know, reports that came out, we were one of the people that reported on it. Uh, there was paperwork. Uh, from a St. Louis guy named Dion Gatlin, a.k.a. Cuffy, as well as a truck driver, uh, Mendoza guy. Paperwork had Big Meech in it. As a third-party cooperator, he used somebody else who was actually a paid federal informant to set up the deal. These guys go down, right? So although that case ended up being dismissed on some other fluke stuff, like the, the person that they used, that informant lady, man, she, she did her thing. I ain't gonna lie. She, she a real rat, like good at it too. But the case got dismissed. Unfortunately for Dion Gatlin, Cuffy out of St. Louis, 
he has come out and said that a myriad of legal problems he's run into ever since that time because although he did not get arrested for that specific thing once the feds was on him once meach put the feds on him the feds never left him and he and he i believe is in jail still in part to some of that cooperation that they say big Meach did um, i think a lot of people don't even know that he snitched honestly i think his legacy is still cemented. I think people will still be excited. I think especially with the uh, show being as successful as it's been in the last couple of years, I think everybody will be excited that he's coming home and they'll probably just ignore the snitch allegations. And if they do come up again, like you said, um, it doesn't matter because- Yeah, I, 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 I tend to agree with you, but <laughs> I just have to be honest because he's out. The big news is he's out. So I hit you up, man, let's talk about it. But we also did have to talk about the fact that we reported on his third party cooperation. I ain't want to glaze over it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then you, I have people, you have people in the comments. Oh, man, man, you had called him a rat. Now you celebrating him. Now he home. You said like we not celebrating him. We just reporting that one of the biggest black drug dealers say in the last 50 years is out. Yeah, it's some it's some it's some other things. Do you think he might respond to some of these rumors? Like you think he'll do any interviews or anything? I definitely think that he's going to hit the ground running. It looks like from what we see, his personality was pretty outgoing and pretty like straightforward. So I'm pretty sure we'll see him doing interviews on several different platforms. And I'm actually excited to hear from him. For all those that aren't familiar with his sentence and everything that happened, how many years did he get and how many did he actually do? He got 30 and he ended up doing from 05 to now. So he did like 19, 20. Wow. And how old was he when he went on in? On a 30, like 35. So he's 56 right now. Okay. So he went in when he was 35. He coming out when he's 56. So he did like 20, 21 years, something like that. Wow. And the feds. You never want to miss a day of freedom. But I feel like if you did a lot of dirt and you got 20 years and you get to get out. And celebrate and throw parties. And you only 50? You only 50. Like, you ain't really missed nothing. You did your... You did your childhood, your 20s, your 30s. Now you just go from your 30s to your 50s. Like, wow. Yeah, you had to miss like your middle age, but you still get to. And I bet you, how much you bet he got some money somewhere? You know? I mean, his son, they got a TV show. No, I'm talking about buried in the backyard. Like, you know what they do. You think so? He got like real cash for like the 90s in that bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got bricks of gold. Like, I guarantee you.